Now that winter is finally loosening its grip, it's time to take a look at what exactly made it through the winter in good shape and what might need a little bit of help. We were a little concerned about a lot of plant parts above the snow line and whether the flower buds would freeze off or open inconsistently or, of course, not turn into fruit. Still remains to be seen on a lot of plants. This viburnum, as an example, is showing right now like it's going to break bud without even thinking about what happened in winter. On the other hand, our New Jersey tea is showing a lot of winter diebacks, so we'll wait and see what happened with that one before we actually prune off that dead foliage. The roses, including those hardy shrub roses, really took a hit. And we're finding even on the best of the best of the yellows that's been there forever, yellow submarine, yellow submarine has just a littlest, tiniest piece of green. A lot of our herbaceous perennials are coming out of the ground, maybe a little bit inconsistently, because what we are seeing is perhaps instead of being a full lush crown of the plant, Maybe we have a handful of shoots around the outer edges. And again, it's going to depend an awful lot on what part of the state you were in if you had good snow cover to help with that insulation, especially when we had those abrupt temperature drops. The other interesting thing about the herbaceous perennials is to see what was underneath the ground from last year. This is penstemon, which had some leaf spot issues. And of course, since these are essentially an evergreen or, or a broadleaf evergreen, they hold their foliage, we're seeing still the remains of those rust diseases or those leaf spots. So take a look at those before you figure out what exactly you need to do with your plants. And of course, before you start doing all the cutting and removing. We're seeing a lot of broadleaf evergreens like boxwood that are showing winter desiccation or damage on the south or the southwest side. That is wind, that is winter, that is cold. Again, be aware that you really probably shouldn't prune that out right now. Just take a wait and see. We're also seeing that on evergreens like Arborvita with the whole side really being pretty winter burned or winter damaged. So wait, wait and see on those as well before you get out the pruning shears. One of our huge concerns always when we have an unusual winter is the flower buds of plants that bloom very early and on previous year's wood or old wood. Peaches, cherries, apples, forsythia, lots and lots of plants like that. And whether these buds are completely damaged or, and are going to drop, again, it's a wait and see, remains to be seen. Hopefully they're protected enough, depending on the location, where we won't see a lot of winter injury on those. If we do, it's a matter of you're either not going to get the fruit or if you've got too much twig dieback, which can also happen, you're going to have to be doing additional pruning on those plants. One final thought or a note on plants that were planted either late in the fall or they really didn't get a chance to get established even if they were planted earlier. Take a good hard look at those plants. Hopefully they were covered with snow but you may find yourself in a situation where especially some of the smaller ones might need to be replaced. As we go into the spring of the year, be careful about taking all of that debris away from the crown too early. You don't want them to have to force their leaves up through a lot of it, but you also want that there for a little bit of protection if we get one of those late freezes, which of course can happen in Nebraska.